Good morning. It is Monday the 19th and we are here at the NEC in Birmingham for the photography show. Ben and I are just going to take a look around today and see what of the new 2018 releases we can get our hands on and take a look at and see them in person. Once they lift the red tape, we're going to take a walk around. You're going to come with us. So Ben and I have just pulled over at Joby um, and I just got this stuff recently and this helps me produce content for Instagram. So I've got the mic and just sort of, you know, the legs on the ball head. And it's an excellent thing. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people using these, but the one problem I was having was that there wasn't an extra cold shoe so that I could put a light on it in case, you know, I'm in a, I find myself in a low light situation or I'm trying to shoot stories at night. And the one thing it turns out that I needed was an extra couple of arms and this rig here this will be coming out in like a week or two apparently and this will give me two extra cold shoe mounts and a, a, a place to put a gopro on it so it's nice to see that joby are coming up with perfect solutions for for content creators the people who are making vertical stories these days so this is the m50 um, Something that we talked about not long ago. Uh, I can't remember if we got, we never got a model in uh, to sort of test out, but this is the actual camera. And the reason we were really curious about this camera is it's it's one of um, one of Canon's first CSC cameras that shoots in 4K, but not only does it shoot in 4K, um, you've got the dual pixel AF, and this flip out screen here, and a mic jack, which means that it's perfect for this. So I could vlog all day and I could see myself in there and it, it, yeah, it's just great. Now the only thing that I think we were sort of bummed about was that we found out that dual pixel AF wasn't going to be available um, in well when you were shooting 4K. It is how available in 1080, you know, 60p, which is still great. Um, but we all know that you know Canon's dual pixel AF is a prized feature uh, on their cameras. So we can only hope to see that in later iterations. It actually feels a lot more substantial than I thought it did. And even the white version, which I'm not really a fan of, of colored cameras, I think it makes them look a little bit, I don't know, you know what I mean. I think there's people out there who know what I mean. So, we're just, uh, we just came by decided to speak to some guys that we know. Uh, spoke to Matt Brooks, one of their ambassadors, uh, a friend of Clicking Cameras. And we didn't actually know that Luke of Luke and Mandy fame was here. Uh, Luke Woodford, also you can find him on Instagram. He's a pro photographer. He does some really amazing stuff with just, well, with all types of lighting really, but really atmospheric. So Luke is just giving a little talk um, about how to take a great photo in the NEC when you're dealing with all this sort of fluorescent lighting it's uh it, it'd be a cave in here if it wasn't for all the stands and stuff so we're just gonna see what uh listen to what luke has to say for five minutes and then i think we're gonna go down and see one of our friends from manfrotto josie and see how she's doing so those are a couple of bags we listed last week the manfrotto pro light cinematic expand and balance uh great for guys like ben who have got a bunch of video equipment with him essentially what you can do is you can put your uh your csc a7, A9, whatever kind of rig you've got in there. But you can also put a fully assembled Ronin M or MX on that bag in particular. Uh, and then that one there um, is the Expand. And what you can do with that one is you can put a fully assembled XC15 or something like that in there. So when you've got your high handle on the top of the camera, that thing just goes and slots straight in the back. So for the run and gunner, you know, the one man army kind of guy, perfect for those types of things. So we just wanted to check those out. There's also something here called a sling somewhere. Uh, it's like a new sling they've got. I think it's like 100 quid or something. Perfect for your premium CSC user, somebody who's got like an A7 or an A9. It's got a built-in camera strap. And you just whip it around and pull your camera out just from like the top of the bag. So I'm gonna have a look at that one. I'm gonna let Ben get some product shots and uh, well, I'm gonna let, well, Ben does what Ben wants. 
I don't know why I'm concerned about what Ben's doing. <laughs> ben does. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, this is the 180 to 400 with the built-in teleconverter. Uh, we just wanted to take a quick look at it. It's uh, a nice brand new lens. Um, yeah, I think this is the most intriguing facet of this camera is this built-in teleconverter here. You don't actually have to purchase it as a separate uh, as a separate piece of gear. It just comes with it, which I think is awesome. Even at a uh, even at a massive photography event like this, I can't help but feel just slightly creepy, like <laughs> scoping everybody out with this massive 180 to 400 lens. It is awesome though, and it's not actually a bad setting to try something like this out. You've got so much to look at, and it's such a massive building. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, so it's been kind of a hectic day at the NEC. There's just people everywhere, so it makes it really hard to see everything. But the great thing about that is we've already seen most of this stuff and we've already reviewed most of this stuff on the channel. Um, because we're a retailer, we have the luxury of getting hands on with these things before the general public does. And even at events like this, we don't have to get too stressed out about not being able to handle something because we mostly just got it in the warehouse or it's just a phone call away. If you're interested in any of the products that you've seen in this video, Check the description for any links to any YouTube reviews we've done in the past. Uh, and we'll also leave links to the products on our website as well. We just decided to stop by the Panasonic booth just to check out some of the great stuff that they have. Uh, Panasonic have made leaps and bounds in the last few years with regards to their micro four thirds cameras and their video capability. They recently came out with the TZ200, I think earlier this year. I think the GX9 is also a relatively new addition. It's really hard to beat Panasonic as far as looking for a camera for content creation uh, and video making I think they just offer such a great package along with that you know five axis in body image stabilization that you get on things like the GH5S the video quality just looks astounding um, it's kind of hard to beat at the price point as well so if you're in the market for a uh, for a small camera CSC and you want to do a lot of video Panasonic, I think the GH5, the GH5S is definitely something to have a look at. Also, the G9, you can excel in both fields with that photography and with video making. Can't really go wrong. It's hard to find a bad camera here. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at the NEC today. Um, we came out just to kind of have a look around, really. I think you've got to, as a camera retailer, show your presence. The real value in being at the photography show doesn't necessarily come from all the gear that you can find here, but it's being able to have conversations with professionals and see them speak and tell you about their tools of the trade and to see how they apply them. Uh, I think that's where the value lies in this show. For us, it's a good opportunity to reconnect with some of our favorite brands, suppliers, people that we work with on a, on a daily basis, really. Um, but it's always worth it to, I think, open your ears and listen. It's not necessarily a shopping event. Um, yeah, and I think we'll end on that note. It's been a good day. Thanks for joining us.